Hello everyone, my name is Nicky Crancher. Today we are going to go through app wrapping for Apple Macs um, for the Mac OS system. The challenges that we face today is when we're trying to push applications from Microsoft Endpoint Management or Intune, we usually don't have the option to push applications like PKG files directly to Mac devices. In fact, there's very little support for, for, for the Mac compared to how Windows is pushed. I'll show you here in my lab. If I click on applications here and then go to Mac OS, and then we click on the add icon, there are a, a few types that you can do. In fact, Microsoft do support the Microsoft 365 apps, so we can natively push those down to Mac devices. And we can do the same for Edge and Defender for Endpoint. But what about the other applications? What about our Adobe readers and you know other third-party applications and I don't know Citrix receiver or workspace app? What about those applications? Well, you could basically create a web link, right? Uh, web link will just appear in the company portal as an icon that says, if you want this application, click it and go download it. Now, that could be a challenge if you have paid for applications. Say we have Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Pro app, um, then those are usually licensable files and hidden behind usernames and passwords and so forth. So what do we do about that? Um, it becomes a real challenge, to be honest. And the only way that we could do that is to use the line of business app. So Line of Business app is traditionally just used for in-house or custom applications, uh, which you then develop in Apple Developer. Um, but then once we use the Line of Business app, uh, you could then convert it into an Intune.Mac file and then push the application to other, other users that have Macs. So we could use this technology um, in order to push regular applications. And Microsoft have actually come up with a the tool, which is the Intune wrapping tool, which I was talking about. Um, so this is the Intune wrapping tool. But before we start, there's a couple of things you should know. The first thing you should know is that um, the Intune wrapping tool wraps PKG files. And while it might be possible to download PKG files, there are a lot of applications out there that only come in DMG format. So that poses another challenge. How do we convert DMG to PKG so then we can wrap it and then we can push them through Microsoft Endpoint Management? Well, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you in this video how we can take a PKG file and wrap it into a Mac.Intu file and also to install um, a DMG, extract it to a PKG and then also publish it. We'll also look at the detection rules, so we can take the XML file for the application, so then when we want to push that application out and have those detection rules in place, we can use specify an XML file to do so. All clever stuff. So first thing we need to do is, as I said, we can go and download the app racking tool. Once we've done that, we then need to start the application in terminal, uh, and then we go to the location where it is and then we need to make that an executable so I'll show you that step in a second once we've done that then we can use the app wrapping tool to convert it if you have a PKG file and then after that we can extract uh, detection parameters and versions created for the Intune file right so when you're specifying those is this application installed correctly um, those parameters can be extracted from there. Oops, I've already installed that so if I go over to my applications and I go to my downloads folder I have an Intune, Intune file here right so the next thing I need to do is we um, change the path to where the Intune folder is I'm already in there and then we just do chmod plus x and then Intune app util okay that's all you need to do so once you do that there we go uh, that just makes that file now executable so I can now run that the next thing we need to do is when you go get an application in this example I'm going to use Citrix workspace app so I need to go and get that application 
So I'm open up my Safari and over here and here is the, the file that I need. Now notice this is a DMG file. Okay, so where's my PKG file? Uh, well, you know, I'll have to use a different method. So we're going to convert this file, this DMG file, into a PKG file. So first of all, we'll just download that application. Whew, there it goes. All right, so that file is almost downloaded. There it is, little bouncy bounce. Uh, we click on here, and we get the DMG file open. So this is what I mean. In some cases, you will see the PKG file, and you can just drag that PKG file from here to um, your downloads folder, and then package that PKG file straight away. In this case, we don't have that option. We have to install the application. So let's just do that. I'm going to click um, OK, and then um, it's going to go through the, the setup wizard. So we just do that really quickly. Fantastic. So the application is now installed. Brilliant. So click continue and close. Uh, we're going to just keep that for the moment. Right. So now we can close this file down. Now this is the DMG. We're just going to close that down. Now if we go over to here, applications, uh, we've got loads of applications. Wonderful stuff. Let's find Citrix Workspace. Uh, let's go to Citrix Workspace. And what we need here is some information. So if we go to get info, the information that we need will be exactly this here, name and extension. So we need to know what this file is, this .app file. And that leads us to the next step. We need to be able to convert that .app file into a .pkg file. And in order to do that, I'm going to show you another article. So I open up my Safari and it is how to convert. Now I'm just going to show you where I googled this from. There are a couple of other articles on how to do this. I actually use this hex mode and I will include this in the description of this video. So if you click on um, this this hex mode, how to convert GM, I actually found this one was quite useful when I was uh, initially doing some research on it. How the PKG and disk image files are there and uh, convert it. So there is just a product build command that we can use to convert that application into a PKG file. All right, so I could take this whole path. If I just copy that, and then we go back to our terminal window. Um, so in my case, I'm using the sudo command and then product build component and then applications, which is where it is. Uh, now, the one that we really want is, if I just minimize this, we should be able to see it on this window here. So Citrix Workspace app. Now there's a space in there, so we do need to put some some quotations around that. So I'll just put Citrix and then Workspace. And I'll put it a capital. So Workspace app, and we'll put some quotations around that because it does have a space. Uh, and now it's gonna then you use the little squiggle mark there and then um, download in June and then the last application did was Slack so I'm just going to change that to uh, I'm going to avoid the space this time so I'm just going to do Citrix workspace just to avoid confusion so if I just stretch that out you can see what it looks like right okay so this is the command sudo product build dash dash component slash applications then where the application is and if it has a space you use the quotations little squiggle mark um, and then download in tune citrus workspace pkg all right so let's run that it will ask you for the password because you're using a sudo command so i'm just going to put that in now and there it is it's now packaging it so it's converting that app file into a pkg file Wonderful stuff. Right, as you can see now, it wrote um, to the PKG file in my downloads folder. Yay, wonderful stuff. Let's just go back here to downloads and in tune. And you can see there's the PKG file. Boom, we're at step one. We've managed to convert a DMG file into a PKG file, but we had to go through the installation process. 
Of course, afterwards, you can just uninstall the application if you don't need it. The next thing we need to do is now convert that PKG file into a Intune file, so Mac Intune file. All right, guys, we're now ready to package, take that package file, which we have here, and we're going to convert that package file into a .intune Mac file. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we need to run the following command. So the command is intune um, apputil dash the Citrix workspace pkg. The little dot represents the current location of the folder, and then we would like to see some some verbose logging. And as you can see there now, it's converted the file and created us a dot mac intune file, right? So if I just stretch that out, you can see Citrix workspace pkg intune dot mac file. All right. So, all very good. Now we have an application that's ready. The next thing we need to do is create a few more um, spaces there. Um, extract the XML data that we use for detection rules. So in this case, we need to run the tool again. So intune app util, then dash r, and now we need the Citrix workspace. Oh yeah, workspace. Uh, dot pkg dot intune mac file like so once we run this command we'll get the xml data um, now i can't find a way that it just generates it so we just basically have to copy that uh, and then create a an email or text message or something like that uh, i'll just create a note so new note and put that in my notes and then when I'm ready to package that in I can just save that as a file alright so that was the first method of packaging application I just want to show you one more method uh, the second method really quickly here is if I was to go and get Adobe Reader so let me just try Adobe Reader so I click on get Adobe Reader and you can see here I've got two options, download Adobe Reader Pro or DC. So if you were actually going to do this or package these applications and it was a paid for, you may have to sign into a website. Once you sign into a website, then you know uh, you wouldn't want all your users logging into the various websites to get applications. This is why uh, packaging application is so important. So if we click on download Adobe Reader, that just takes a quick moment and a little... Okay. So the file's now downloaded, similar to the DMG file that we have a Citrix workspace app. We have an Adobe DMG file, but look at the difference. Once we load that up, so the difference is here. You just have to get the PKG file. So if I was to open up my downloads folder, and you can actually see this here already. And that's the DMG file. So what I wanted to do is I just want to move this file straight into my Intune folder. So I'm just going to click on that and drag it there. Easy. Now the file is where I want it to be. I don't need to worry about this file anymore. And similar process as before. What we do here is we just go back to our terminal window and then we run the command to pack it. Now we specify the same uh, I think we did last time to convert the application and I'll just click enter to there and then we extract the package again as you can see now the application has been packaged and now we have an Adobe one alright so now we have two Intune files um, let's go over here to our line of business app and let's click on select our line of business so the first thing we're, we're going to do the Citrix workspace one but if I click on the select package file and then I'm going to specify that. So you can see here I've got my Intune and I've got my Citrix workspace one here. So I'm going to choose this file. All right, so I'm going to just upload that file. So now I need to change how it looks like. So I'm just going to make this called Citrix workspace. Uh, and then just to make it nice and tidy, I've got the application there, but I'm going to just make this look a bit nicer. We do need to specify the publisher, which is Citrix, 
and then there's other like minimum operating systems this works on so I'm just going to select that one for now you can install this to be managed application um, and include that so I don't have to do that but I'm going to scroll down here and just put that as a application on a company portal uh, and just put it into business applications all right so that's pretty much all the information I need from here uh, to create the application so I'm just going to click next on there we could specify a logo if it doesn't appear up uh, available for all enrolled devices so I just select all users uh, and then I'm going to hit create and that is it that's basically application has been published now so for all users this will now appear in the company portal guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope this has been informative for you i'd like to thank you for watching please stay tuned until next time